Hi, this is Shana Sino. I'm here in New York. I'm here in Queensboro. I'm staying at my friend's place. And I'm on my way to Manhattan. So Manhattan is another borough. There are five boroughs in New York. And uh, today, I'll, I'd like to talk about, are you comfortable being alone? So as you can see, I'm here in the train station here in Queensboro. And I was surprised to see that there's only one person in this train station, and that's me. And so I thought about creating this video on, are you comfortable being alone? Now, I'd like to make a confession. A few months ago, I was so afraid to be alone in a certain place. I always wanted to be with people and I was afraid to, to just be by myself. But then I did something uh, radical in September 2018. I traveled solo to Bali, Indonesia for five days. I didn't know anyone there. And that's where I conquered my fear of sleeping in a room by myself and of traveling alone. So anyway, today let's talk about why it's okay to be alone because being alone doesn't mean being lonely okay you can be alone and still be joyful still be peaceful at the same time so are you comfortable being alone being alone means for example are you comfortable eating in a restaurant by yourself are you comfortable watching a movie by yourself are you comfortable traveling by yourself in when i was still working in a bank I had this office mate, he was, she was very outgoing, she is loved by many and she loves a lot of people, she loves being with people. But then she admitted to me that she's so afraid to be alone, she's not comfortable being alone. She cannot eat in a restaurant by herself, she cannot watch a movie by herself, she cannot go to a mall by herself. Now there is nothing wrong with that but I think we also need to learn how to be comfortable by being alone. Because in reality, we're not really alone. There's always someone with us and that's God. When you're alone, that's when you get to know yourself better. When you're alone, that's when you can really connect with God. When you're alone, that's when you discover many things about yourself. When I traveled to Bali, Indonesia by myself, I discovered so many things about myself, so many things that I didn't know about myself. For example, I discovered that I actually can sleep in an unfamiliar room by myself. Now, I wouldn't be able to discover that if I didn't travel solo. And now I'm here in New York. Um, I'm actually traveling solo, but um, I'm very grateful that my friend from high school, Jaja, is hosting me in their beautiful home in Queensboro with her family. Uh, she, I have, she lent me the room of her two-year-old son and I'm having a great time. So there. Um, it's okay to be alone. Learn how to be comfortable being alone because being alone is just temporary. It's a way to for you to discover yourself, discover God, connect with yourself, connect with God. And that's very, very important there. So there you have it. So it's okay to be alone because in reality, again, you're not really alone. God is always with you. And being alone is just temporary. No man is an island. If it's okay to be alone for for a period of time maybe uh, maybe one day maybe two days because know that you can always connect with people but it's okay to have that period of time wherein you can be alone so you can get to know yourself better and reconnect with yourself better and reconnect with god all right so that's my message for you live here at queensboro new york new york new york this is Shana Sino, and of course, I send out inspirational emails every Monday. So if you would like to receive an email from me, just go to shatnasino.com slash dreams, and you'd also be able to download my free ebook with the blurb by Brian Tracy. Okay, so I'm waiting for my train. I hope it arrives really soon. I think I still have about 15 minutes to wait. And it's okay. It's okay to be alone for 15 minutes because later I'll be able to interact with some New Yorkers. God bless you! Yoo -hoo -hoo. Have you always wanted to write a book but you don't know where to start? Hi, this is Shana Sino. I'm an author of 12 books and I'm also the founder of Write University and the 90-day book writing challenge. And I created a free guide 
wherein I answered 10 of the most burning questions when it comes to book writing. And you can get it for free. Just go to shatnasino.com slash ready. Again, you can download it at shatnasino.com slash ready. See you inside.